The Auto Pico is the bigger, motorized version of the Pico 1. It uses the same chain, but because it has a larger wheelbase, the minimum pipe diameter is 6 inches. A clutch on the Auto Pico releases the gears from the motor, allowing you to quickly position the machine and straighten the chain at the same time. A tensioning device similar to that on the Pico 1 takes up the slack in the chain. The Auto Pico is operated from a remote pendant that allows you to monitor the cutting sequence while standing clear of the sparks. The pendant has an on-off switch, speed control, and a clockwise, counterclockwise switch. Tech tip number two. You need to pay careful attention to the direction of the cut because you only have sufficient hose and electric cable for one revolution. At the end of the cut, the machine should be run in the opposite direction to unwind the hose and cable or remounted for the next cut. The torch has a bevel collar, horizontal racking, and vertical adjustment. Another interesting feature of the Auto Pico is a spring-loaded torch bar with bearing which is especially useful when cutting very large pipe, say 24 inches or bigger. Typically, pipe this size is welded up, and it may be out of round, or the weld joint itself may get in the way. This can cause the auto pico to wander off center. Kawaki Aronson solves this problem by offering an optional guide band that works with a torch bar bearing. The spring-loaded torch accurately tracks with the guide. The setup also allows the auto pico to maintain its accuracy when the pipe is vertical, preventing the weight of the machine from pulling the torch out of position and assuring a square cut. Tech tip number three. The speed control on the remote pendant is very useful when cutting thick wall pipe, up to four inches, the maximum capacity. When the auto pico is working in the four o'clock to eight o'clock position, there's a tendency for the dross to fall back onto the cut. Using the remote pendant to slow down the machine in this zone should prevent this problem. To operate the auto pico, you select your direction and speed and light your preheat and then turn on cutting oxygen. You rack the torch into the cut and start the machine with the onboard switch. Once it's moving, you use the pendant to adjust speed remembering to watch the hoses and cable and to stand clear of the sparks. Family of pipe cutters. They make life a little easier. 